Hello everybody, the nameless narcissist here once again, a simple man diagnosed with NPD, giving the facts on narcissistic personality disorder and the things that go on in my head. If you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, but keep in mind, I am no clinician, I can only speak to my own experiences. <sighs> so, as all of you know, I run a YouTube channel focused around destigmatizing narcissistic personality disorder and make, helping people understand what it's actually like and um, to a large degree, helping people understand why they were hurt, what actually happened. And a lot of people take issue with when I say destigmatize, right? Because to them, they think that narcissism is war it's warranted for it to be stigmatized. All of this information that's out there, like narcissists are evil, therefore it's okay that people are viewing them as evil or inhuman or monsters. That's a little bit of an exaggeration, but I think you know what I mean. Um, and this has so many implications uh, to it when people say this to me. Um, first of all, I want to clarify that by me saying we should destigmatize narcissistic personality disorder, I'm not saying that all of a sudden uh, narcissists are beyond reproach. I my entire channel is dedicated to me talking about how basically I'm a bag of shit, <laughs> how I've done a lot of shitty things in my life, how I've like hurt countless people, but also how it didn't come from this place of hate, of this place that. I just want to use people and destroy them and how along every step of the way I was hurting myself too. Um, it also implies that all the information, like I think anybody who actually watches my videos or has watched even one of my videos kind of knows that there's a lot of misinformation on the internet about narcissism. Like, as I said, we are not purposely going out into the world hurting people. We are going out into the world emotionally dysregulated with this desperate need to fucking fill ourselves up so we don't hate ourselves. So I like don't, I, I like I see comments saying like, oh my god, people with NPD are monsters, they all should be killed, like they're possessed by demons, they're the worst people in the world, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. I don't care what view you you can think like, you know, that you never want to see a narcissist again and that maybe they're beyond like even like healed ones you don't want to deal with. And if you agree with that, like I don't I don't even I don't think the worst people on my channel would agree with that. I don't think uh anyone I feel like you probably have problems of your own if you're saying any stuff like that. But these aren't unpopular opinions, is my point. Okay, they're, I'm going to call them popular either. But in a lot of cases, it feels like it's almost acceptable to say. That was one of my top rated comments. Like, one of the top rated comments when I made a video about the fact that NPD has a suicide rate of over 20%. One of the top comments was that that number should go higher or that they deserve it because victims of narcissistic abuse commit suicide. And it's like, and that that's a whole other conversation because that's a, that has a bunch of implications to it as well. But clearly, there is misinformation and stigma hurting, well, yes, hurting narcissists, but also hurting everybody else, right? How are we, like, people complain about narcissistic abuse. And it's like, yeah, obviously, like, you know, abuse is bad. <laughs> I, be, I could be, I'm complaining about it too. Um, but what is the solution if it's to, like, do you really think that by making this uh, disorder even more demonized that nobody wants to identify with it because... You hear it and it's just a literal insult so you don't go to therapy for it um like what who is that helping i cannot think of a single person who's benefiting from calling all narcissists monsters and making every narcissist out there never want to associate with the label we can acknowledge that we're toxic and also acknowledge that we're people with emotions and feelings and needs um that aren't beyond redemption and like part that's part of the sigma too telling us that we are beyond redemption, beyond help. Uh, that's not true. Narcissists have a remission, remission rate of 53% over a two year treatment period. This stigma is just perpetuating more narcissistic abuse. Um, and I like, I use that term flippantly here because I have complicated views on the term, but you can, I have a video on that, you can watch that, it's not that important right now. But basically by perpetuating all the stigma, you are thereby causing more narcissistic abuse to happen because we're not getting anyone to therapy. And you can say like, oh, well, narcissists don't think there's anything wrong with them, blah, blah, blah. Narcissists aren't happy. <laughs> they really aren't. That's another part of stigma. Narcissists suffer with vulnerable and low self-esteem usually. Um, they are very sensitive. Do you think it's, do you think it feels good when somebody, do you think that we react with like this rage and like this outburst if whenever we were insulted, like, whenever we're insulted if it just felt good if we were fine with it this isn't a mental disorder because we're assholes it's a mental disorder because there's a lot of suffering that goes into this i have never met a narcissist in my life that did not suffer to some degree before they went into treatment i've never met one um and by definition you can't be a narcissist if you weren't suffering because it's a mental illness 
I think way more people who are narcissists would be willing to identify with the label if there wasn't the stigma around it. Because when you say narcissist, you're not saying, oh, you're suffering from a severe mental health condition and like you need help. You're saying you're an abuser. That's what it means to be called a narcissist. And no fucking shit that narcissists aren't going to be want to be called narcissists for that reason. There's exceptions, of course. There's people like me who like wear like a badge of pride. Like that's according to Deanna Diamond, that's like 50% of narcissists that she treats. Um, but like still, nobody wants to identify with that label. Um, there's also like, and also people say that they don't go into therapy. They do go into treatment. Eight to 20% of people in outpatient treatment are narcissists. Eight to 20%. That's a lot of fucking people. And probably because this, they're probably not getting diagnosed also because of the stigma, because people don't know what actual narcissism looks like. I am actual narcissism. I am probably more archetypal than most narcissists, honestly. I'm probably closer to the stereotype. But like, it's anybody who watches my videos will very quickly be like, well, this is not what I really picture when it comes to narcissism, assuming that they haven't, they haven't already known a narcissist. Um, I mean, I think it's around, I think it's, oh, it's like, there's a study that I forget, but it's like 40, only 43% of narcissists in treatment were like correctly diagnosed using the DSM criteria. But that, that's again, less than a 50% chance. Why? Because I mean, hell, my therapist at, w had uh, thoughts like that. She said that at first, like she literally told me is that she didn't think I was a narcissist at first because narcissists don't go to treatment. And she didn't realize until later on that, oh wait, maybe that's wrong. Maybe I didn't really know what narcissism looks like. This perpetuating, perpetuating stigma and these falsehoods and calling us monsters isn't helping anybody. Yeah, maybe I'm doing this for a little bit of selfish reasons because I am a narcissist and I want people with my disorder and myself to be treated better. But everybody loses. Everybody loses if we do not fight stigma. And you can have your opinions on the term stigma and stuff like that, I don't really care, whatever. But that's just kind of my take on it. Um, like this, like, and even, and I think honestly, most importantly, we still have to recognize that this is a very vulnerable population, right? There's increased risk of like, it's like 50% of us have like substance abuse issues. We're at a higher risk for depression, anxiety, PTSD. 20% um, of us kill ourselves. Like this is a population of people that there, that there should be some compassion for so that they can get some help. And so they don't like, you know, do the worst thing they can do and also like hurt people around them. Um, I feel like that's always been kind of the point of my channel is to show compassion for literally everybody, including narcissists. And I'm sticking by that. And if you don't think narcissism should be destigmatized, I'm not exactly sure what the hell you're getting on my channel. So whatever. Anyways, <laughs> hope you all have a good one. Take your fucking meds.